Vladimir Putin raised the issue of justice in the final part of his address to the Federal Assembly, devoting it to security. It was about international justice, meaning that only equal security is fair. And since the United States has decided to unilaterally withdraw from the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty and is going to deploy such missiles in Europe, Putin made it clear what dangers such a step poses for Russia. Given that such missiles will be able to reach Moscow within 10 to 12 minutes, this is a very serious threat to us. In this case, we will be forced, I would like to emphasize this, we will be forced to respond with equivalent or asymmetric actions. What does this mean? Russia will be forced to create and deploy weapons that can be used, not only against the territories that we are directly threatened from, but also against the territories where the decision-making centers are located for the missile systems that are threatening us. The decision-making centers. This is a fundamentally new step towards justice. Until now, America has been lying low overseas, only putting its allies under retaliatory fire. Allies who foolishly agreed to host, for example, medium-range missile launchers. Who are they? For example, Romania. MK-41 units have already been deployed there, Poland agreed as well. And maybe Georgia will do so too. What's up with Poland? Anyway, not only Poland will get its bitters if a launch occurs on its territory, instead, we'll seek a retaliatory strike directly on US territory. As Putin has put it, a retaliatory strike directly on where decision-making centers are. After all, if anything, it won't be the Poles or the Romanians who will press the launch button. They're far away from it. Let's follow Putin's ideas further. It is important. We do have a technological answer. And now, another promising innovation. It is being successfully developed and are being finished as scheduled. Namely, I'd like to speak about the Zirkin hypersonic missile that can reach a speed of approximately Mach 9 and that covers over 600 miles to be able to hit both waterborne and land-based targets. It can be launched from the water or from a surface vessels or submarines, including those that have already been developed and are rebuilt for carrying Calibri high-precision missiles, which means that all this comes at no additional cost for us. Now, let's align the decision to take aim at decision-making centers in the U.S. In case American, short and intermediate range missiles are deployed in Europe, with a story about our unparalleled sea-based Zircon missiles, which can cover over 600 miles. Where are those decision-making centers situated in the USA? Here are just a few on the East Coast. Let's take a look at them. The Pentagon. It houses the highest command and control structures of the armed forces and the Chiefs of Staff Committee. Camp David. The government command post, where the U.S. president is supposed to be present. Fort Ritchie, Maryland. The U.S. president's command post and the Chiefs of Staff Committee command center. That's it, so far. Let's turn to the west. McClellan, California, a site where strategic offensive forces are managed. And Jim Creek, Washington are hosting a nuclear command and control center. If we, without violating treaties or disturbing anyone, simply deploy our submarines that are each carrying 40 Zircon missiles in the ocean, then the very decision-making centers that Putin mentioned will be within range of Russian hypersonic weapons. So, let them calculate the range and the speed of our future armed systems. This is all we are asking, just do the math first before making decisions that may further create additional serious threats to our country. It goes without saying that such decisions will prompt Russia to respond to security, being reliable and unconditional.
Putin are requesting that calculations are to be made, so that's what we're going to do. Our submarines are to be beyond the U.S. exclusive economic zone, which is 200 nautical miles wide, or 230 miles. They can be safely deployed 250 miles from the coast. All the decision-making centers aren't far from the shore either. Say, another 250 miles, which comes to a total of 500 miles. The Zircon has a speed of almost 7,000 miles per hour. In such case, the Zircon will cover 500 miles in under 5 minutes. A child could solve this problem. This is the flight time. 5 minutes. That is why Putin requests that calculations be made. Do you really need to deploy missiles in Europe aimed at us? So far we haven't been threatening anyone. But if the missiles are deployed there, the response will be instantaneous.